We have GDD. Dilly dally disorder. This prevents us from getting out of bed, going to work, and finishing a project. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, damn, I think I have DDD too. Well, you probably do. Life can be hard, and this time of year is tough. It's cold, there's no sun, it rains constantly, and the days are short. We're sending you a hug. Wait! We found the answer to curb DDD. And it's not coffee. Everything on this wheel will be completed. You're probably thinking, seriously, a game show wheel? Yeah, and whatever it lands on, we have to do. You're saying this is gonna cure my dilly-dally disorder? Apparently, that's what the box said. Well then, cue the theme song! This wheel is one fun way to get all of our work done. We're gonna have a lot of work on our hands this week and there's no way out of it. Booyah! I'm washing my hands in the cabinet! What's going on? Oh my God. <laughs> the task I've been avoiding and you'll understand why when I get started here. There's always a silver lining. It's kind of ironic. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> it's kind of satisfying. All right, we're making good time, everyone. Crystal is even grabbing a bite to eat before the next task. And if we don't finish everything on this wheel, this wheel is gonna become 10 times larger. And our DDD is going to get worse. We have to do it. Bathroom plumbing. When we did the walls in this room, why we just left this beautiful wall? Well, that's because 98% people, 98%. You might be wondering, what do we mean by 98%? One major sign that you may be suffering from dilly dally disorder is, you never quite get around to completing a task. You get 98% done and never complete the project before moving on to the next thing. And the cycle continues indefinitely. Yo, we gotta shut the water off, we're gonna have a flood. That's good, not much water in the lines. Got everything we need for the job. Oh, we're gonna need a bucket. We don't want what happened last time. Cut it already. Oh no, cut it already? What the bottom? Cut it! I'm trying! Keep your distance. Flood. You just lost the tool. <sighs> You just fell down the wall. If you missed that, I just dropped our tool in between the shower and the wall into an abyss. Not a good start. But Jasmine's here. Let's see what she's got. Got extras. This is gonna take forever. Millimeter by millimeter. Nothing's happening. So I can only go as far as this, unless you wanna cut this out. Method number two. bowl is too big. Hopefully this bowl is just right. And I think towels are gonna be our best friends in this. Watch nothing happen. So prepared this time. Nothing happened. <laughs> After surviving the scariest part of plumbing, a chance of flooding, it's time to put our evolving plumbing skills to the test. From cutting, applying putty, fitting connections, and putting holes through the walls, we grow nearer to the completion of our indoor bathroom. And before we know it, ta-da! We officially have two shower heads. Love it. One for showering, obviously, one for the dogs. Okay, the water's going on. No leaks over here. Who wants a bath? Izzy, wanna have a bath? I'm so happy we got this done. I've been thinking about it for so long. Every time I would look at the wall and I would look at the shower, I've been thinking about this extra shower head that we've had since we installed the first one. And it feels so good to have it done finally. This wheel is a really good thing. Okay, it's time to spin the wheel. Do, 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 do. We should not be in charge of this song. <laughs> Cue the song now. <laughs> I'm 
my fingers were crossed for that. I think everyone else is Oh, like, I'm yeah. so excited. This is gonna be a great one. Ready. They were calling for it, and it came. Snow! It snows just as quickly as it melts here in Nova Scotia. <laughs> Literally. I don't understand the winter here. And it's so bizarre. Inside this truck, we have something that's gonna allow us to brush our teeth Ooh. inside the cabin. <laughs> don't slip. <laughs> and we haven't brought it inside because we know it's gonna be such an exciting moment, so we wanted to keep it in here until we were ready to do it, and now's the time. <laughs> oh my God. I got the door, don't worry. No worries, no worries. How much does the earth weigh if this counter weighs this much? Oh no, oh no. I got it. Oh, I actually don't have it because you're a hero. You're just trying to be a hero. I, don't, I am a hero. I don't need to be a hero. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Welcome home. After you. I'd say we're upgrading. Out with the ply. Woo. And in with the court. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on right away. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Beautiful. Damn, that's nice. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. As we admire the looks of our brand new countertop, we forgot one important step before installing it. We have to remove this wall and shiplap it. And in an instant, DDD sets in. The second that we have to look at this wall and put shiplap on it, DDD sets in and we don't want to do it at all, to be honest. I have no energy. Why? It's been said that dilly dally disorder gets worse in the winter months. You're like lifting my arms right now is such hard work. What is going on? <laughs> Dr. Tilly's gonna take a piece of shiplap down. Is this the weather thing? Like that, you know, the seasonal thing? Give it all you got! Help! <laughs> we didn't know we need in here. Now we do. Yeah, it happens when you're an amateur builder. Amateur builders. Can they do it? Maybe they can. <laughs> you know, potentially if we get this wall off and if we get the new wall on and get this counter in, there's only a few more things in this bathroom is a bathroom and it's gonna be completed potentially by the end of the week. And that is awesome. So that should motivate us. Let's do it. After eating a snack and realizing how close we were to completion, we pulled together and tackled procrastination head on. Appreciate that all the walls are down in here. It's pretty nice. Oh, you're kind of loving. There's nothing oh. left to figure out. I can't believe it's countertop. Okay, so as I run this down this way, it's actually overhanging more on this end. Give it a little. No, 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 no. Do not do that. <laughs> do not put your boots on my counter. No, please, honey, don't take it away. I'll be Beautiful. house girl yeah we are we're almost done in whole room it feels surreal to be even at this stage right now in the cabin build from brushing our teeth on the porch and washing our di di I can't say washing dis dishes dishes <laughs> and washing our dishes with a hose in our French drain I know this isn't the kitchen sink, but it is the first sink to be ever in our cabin. I'm so happy with the vibe. Everything is coming together so beautifully. It's exactly what we envisioned and it's coming true. We went with a light maple vanity, a white concrete sink, and the counter is quartz. Beautiful. There's not even water pouring out of the faucet, but it is gorgeous. All right, quick little outfit change because I am a dope plumber. You get it? <laughs> okay. We're only missing one piece out of this whole job. Oh, I don't need to be having it. Do we have the stuff for that? I don't know. So this is a P-trap. However, you need a P-trap adapter to go to your drain. However, we lived in a van for the last four years, so we're crafty and we're used to gray water. So look what we've done. Bam! 
five gallon bucket. <clears throat> Just until we go to the hardware store. I want to use it right now. Exactly. As we finalize the connections for our first sink in the cabin, we are reminded how much this means to us. For over a year, we have been without running water and an indoor sink. This will change everything. I'm washing my hands in the cabin! Wow! We can brush our teeth inside! You definitely have dilly-dally disorder. Sometimes it's hard to find motivation, but we remember that motivation is just an emotion. We have realized that through action, we can re-motivate ourselves and that the most important thing for us is to just start. Once we start, we get excited again and we remember why we started. It feels so good to have the bathroom completed and have this fresh space for both of us. Woo! I can keep going. <laughs> this is motivation. I could watch you eat food every single day. Look what's back. Security. Let's get to it. All of you have been telling us to do this from day one and we're finally doing it. Let's keep going. I wanna go deep in the woods. How is right here? Find a big enough tree? These are our new trail cams. There is a lot of animal activity out here. We just haven't been able to share it. We need to find the perfect locations to capture them. This is a pretty open area. Seems like a good spot. And we all know there has been suspicious activity at the cabin lately, whether that's humans. Yes, Talon Mads, that's you. And we've been hearing a lot of noises lately. Now that it's winter, it's so much more quiet here, literally along the woods out here. And I cannot wait to capture all the sounds. We're in a photo booth. It literally feels like we're in one of those photo booths, you know? But, but what, what, what face do you want to do? In the woods on a trail cam. Kissing, because we're in high school. Photo booth. We just put some trail cams behind the cabin. Now we're gonna come up towards the front. It's a good place to get up. But yesterday morning, we went for our daily walk and we saw a coyote scat right here. Guess what's going place. on? <laughs> I love owning 15 acres. You can spy on the whole world out there. Welcome to the river and the lake where we watch deer drink all the time. And my mom actually saw a deer swim across the lake and I need to see that. And so do all of you. So we're gonna capture it. All right, onto the last camera and we're planting these down by the water because that's where the animals come to drink. And a lot of you, actually so many of you asked about bears out here. There are certainly bears out here. We've heard all about them, especially from Porter, but we've never seen them, but we're gonna. Oh yeah. Four cameras are up. Oh, we're gonna get them. Oh, we are gonna catch them all. We don't catch Pokemon out here. Catch the deer. And the bear. I can't and wait. And the fishers. I hope we get some rabbits and foxes and everything. You ready? Yep, we're ready. It's important in life to take breaks. We get to be couch potatoes for 20 minutes. That's the best one we ever put on. Woo! You gotta do what the wheel says. Don't mind if I do. Timer starts now. Done. My wrist is vibrating. Woo! I had a full nap. I love a nap. <laughs> No. Oh, that's what you wanted to do. I know. Should we draw it out? Pen and paper. Krista doesn't understand my vision and won't let me go with my vision. I'm gonna stop rapping now. Welcome to the battery house. 
we constructed this entire room solely for our off-grid electrical system. This is going to give our cabin, our greenhouse, the shed, and future buildings power at all times. When all these batteries are connected, it will be 28,000 amp hours of lithium battery, which is very serious. It's basically one time when I was working on the van's electrical system, I dropped a wrench on the shunt, which houses all of the negative cables, and it was very scary. So, this is, I don't even know how many more times, a lot of times, math, 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 a lot of times bigger than our van system, so we really need to protect it. In just a few weeks, we will begin connecting our electrical system, and we'll finally have a sustainable power source. We're creating a simple house to protect us from the hardware, and we are one step closer to our goal. We're so happy the wheel is making us do this. Plexiglass will go on top of our cabinet. Obviously the plexiglass is wet and that is an element we do not want in the battery house. But if you can imagine a cupboard with plexiglass, you can still see your beautiful blue batteries. That's what it will be like. But we still need to connect them. So there's, at least we're ready for the electrician now. Cue the theme song. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Time to move gravel on the moonlight, baby. How romantic. We have been putting this off. The wheel is holding us accountable. There's no if, ands, or buts. When the wheel says to do something, you do it. The wheel owns us. The wheel is our boss. As we work under the moonlight, we finally feel like we are no longer dilly-dallying. By the third day with the wheel, we were jumping out of bed just to promptly brush our teeth, hair, and get dressed because we were excited to get spinning. Heck yeah! I see a green eggs and a ham in my future. <laughs> I don't even know if I need this today. I'm feeling motivated already. Who doesn't want to start the day with breakfast pizza? It's time to make the dough and the toppings and stoke the fire. Oh my gosh, Crystal just came in. Everyone put your head down. She just sitting her hair. I didn't even notice. You know what's funny? I came in the cabin and I was like, what smells in here? That's why I was like, is the stove on? Oh my God. Ew, it smells. I didn't even know. Over here. A chores, baby. That's Crystal's line. I like it. Woo! One pizza, a little well done. A little well done. This doesn't seem much of a task, girls, but to be honest, it really is. Because I find when winter comes around, we stop doing the things that bring us the most joy in life simply because of the weather. And I think that can affect your motivation. Well, it definitely affects my motivation and Crystal's motivation. Maybe if we just incorporate summer things into our lives, we might stay a little bit more motivated. And that's why this is on the wheel, because it really is a chore. Because when's the last time we sat on the deck and ate dinner? When is the last time pizza ever tasted this good? <laughs> good morning, everyone. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, I'm so happy. With our bellies full and just a few burnt hairs, we keep the momentum going and land the best spin yet. Oh! We landed what? on Tell Your Pack You Love Them. We love you, Pack. We couldn't do any of the things we do without you all tuning in every Sunday. So literally from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you all so much. We never imagined that from our first video we would ever be here. So thank you all for your support and showing up every week. It means the world to us. Literally. We love you. So much. You know what? No, I'm feeling motivated. I don't even know if I need this wheel anymore. You ready to do it? Let's do it. No, we're not getting much anymore. <laughs> I think it served its purpose. <laughs> okay, clearly the wheel has served its purpose because we are feeling so good today, so energized. So thank you to that wheel for making chores fun. If anyone is not feeling motivated or feel like doing anything, I'm gonna actually just send you that wheel. I'm gonna literally send you that wheel with a nice message on it from us. So write in the comments why you think you need the wheel, and then we'll email you, and then we're gonna give you the wheel. I'm gonna give someone the wheel. Good idea. All right, I know there's a thing called spring cleaning, but this place can't even wait for spring. It can't. Dun, 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 he's right. What are we gonna do in here? Okay, project. 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 Projects. 
The point of this chore isn't that we necessarily finished it, but the more important part is that we had the motivation to start it. As we wrap up the remaining tasks, we remind ourselves why we started. As with every small task completed on the wheel, we're one step closer to a sustainable off-grid homestead. You can get from the front to the back. I know you can. Proud of us. And we have a lot of projects ahead of us in here. Oh, I know. It's gonna be some busy gals. For me, I say it's a task complete. Remember, no matter how big your to-do list is, we can all slow down and enjoy these little moments. <laughs> Go! Go! That wheel made every single task so much more fun this week. I'm so proud of us for just trying our best, whatever that looked like. Good job, honey. Good job. Now for the most challenging task yet. Polar dip! This winter season has really shown us that it's healthy to slow down and rest, that it's okay to not always be productive, and that there's always something on the to-do list, and that's okay and that we get to define what success means to us. And for us, it looks like being kinder to ourselves, taking care of our mental health and our well-being, as well as just enjoying every small detail on this journey in building our homestead. Maybe we all don't have dilly-dally disorder, but rather it's a reminder for all of us to give ourselves time to truly rest. We're all doing our best in this big, wild world. <laughs>